This is self-serving energy. So this is a, a, these two are two actually uh, you know extremes. There are many types of leaders. Many types. Many. Many different types, you know, I have some 10, uh, 11, 12 types of uh, leadership that I will show you. But, uh, um, you know, these are... Okay. Yes. So, what is leadership? Yeah? So, just some somebody for you to understand, to note the words. Uh, you see? No. I have to go there. <coughs> Fine? Yeah. yeah. Praise the Lord. So these are some key words uh, in, in leadership. Some of them. There are many more, you know, the, there are things like in integrity, honesty, and all those things. Those things are all taken. You know, we are all how many of you are leaders? All of us. Two people said all of us. Four and a half hands went up. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So for those who do not believe that they are leaders already, you know, in my when I was uh, I attended my first retreat, which transformational retreat when I was 35 years, and uh, then I came to uh, Bread of Life Prayer Group where Colin was the leader, and uh, I uh, was there. You know what is leadership? I mean, what is being a leader? Leader is someone who is able to give some service to our Lord in Christian terms. Yeah? So, um, all it put up, you know, that, that time, in two, three weeks of my joining the group, he put up some posters and what, and he said, all of you have to be in some ministry. And one was the word ministry, preaching. Preaching, I said, no. Saving, of course not. <laughs> Counseling, definitely not. And many, many other things. And finally I said, which ministry will I take? Nothing. There was one last one called service. And under that some points were given. So I said, yeah, this requires only muscle. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing from here or here is required. Only muscle. Yeah. So I said, I'll take that. So I went, I, I was doing that. When in six months, and I was already struggling with this 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 renewal that came into me like a bulldozer and and I did not know how to face the world with that renewal uh, and that time God came and uh, called, called me one day and said Cherian you go for there is a growth retreat happening here in the end six months so so he said uh, the growth retreat is happening you go and so I said what is a growth retreat so I thought this will allow me to strengthen me to understand what I am going through. No, no, no. The old retreat was like if the original retreat hit me, hit me straight, the old retreat was like that. Praise the Lord. I, I, I mean, first two days I was wondering why on earth am I here? But then from the third day I understood why on earth am I here? Praise the Lord. So, none of you are sitting here. I mean, all of you are sitting here because the Lord wants you here. Yeah? None of you are here. If you if you really think that you are not leaders, then you had no business to be here. But the Lord knew. Did the Lord know Peter? Yes. Did he know that he would say, I don't know this guy? Yes. He knew. But he chose Peter to be the first pope, to, to be his successor, immediate successor. Praise the Lord. So he knew Peter's potential. So that's why you are all sitting here. Don't think that I am not a leader, I am a chota fellow. No. You are all future leaders and God knows what to do with you. Yeah. So, the leadership is an art of, uh, art of ability to direct. One, <coughs> direction to somebody. Guide people, persuade, influence. I mean, these are all, all things, you know. Like Father said in the morning, before you expire, inspire somebody, please. Yeah? So, 
<laughs> very, very important. We need to be, we need to be inspiring, confidence, enthusiasm, motivating. To be really motivated. Yeah, that is the the the, the role of generally. You know, some words I put there for leadership. Now, uh, the topic as in serving and self-serving. Yeah, uh, there are these are some ten different uh, uh, styles of leadership. 10 different styles of leadership. I wanted to focus only on the pink one, which is a servant leadership, and the green ones, you know, the, the, the green ones are, can you somebody read the heading only? Autocratic. Yes. Basic. Yes. Transactional. Transactional. So these three combined together is the self serving. Yeah? So did you generally understand that? Uh, if you want, I'll give you the the presentation which is in uh, uh, in another it is the Apple software but I'm sure it, is, it can be converted to PowerPoint yes so there's nothing no secret in this yes now some of these pictures that I got when I asked for servant leadership people who are servant leader you know, I had a, I I was googling for uh, a list of I was uh, I was uh, in the in the Google you know, sort of searching about the list of hundred top hundred uh, impactful leaders of the world historically. To my surprise, who is number one? Jesus is number one. Praise the Lord! Jesus is number one. Then you have many, many other leaders. You know, like all these people are coming there. But Jesus is number one. Undoubtedly. Yes? So, and St. Paul is some 12th. St. Paul is there in 12th. So these are all uh, leaders. You know, the, the secular world says these are the top leaders who influence the world. Yeah? Change the world. So these are people who, you know, that is Martin Luther King, this is uh, Nelson Mandela, you know, other people don't need any introduction. So we'll go. Yes. Yeah. So, certain leadership principles. <coughs> Just quickly, I'm bringing you 10 principles of a uh, servant leader. Uh, what is a listener? You know, a good leader is a listener uh, and communicates, communicates accurately. Yeah. He listens or she listens first. But we are all used to... <laughs> We are all used to it. <coughs> yes. In our prayer also, we simply can't sit and listen. We have to. <coughs> My list is there, no? 250, uh, you know, shopping list is there when I'm speaking to Jesus every day. Correct? Yeah. So we don't have time to, 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 to listen to what? Today, this morning, I was uh, telling the Lord, Lord, I will pray for one spe special thing close to my heart. Yeah, for one special thing. Uh, uh, and uh, it's been going on for a while. Can you help me? And he said, take your Bible. And uh, I often, and these are all different ways the Lord speaks. Sometimes into your heart, sometimes as a voice. But this time he said, open your Bible. And I got Matthew chapter 8. Uh, and, and I think it's 24 onwards. Um, where the storm happens, you know, after the um, the Sermon on the Mount and some miracles and all, he's crossing over to the other side um, and uh, he's sleeping in the boat. Yeah, he's sleeping in the boat and uh, there is a storm and they're about to sink, about to sink and these uh, disciples are coming and saying, Lord, why did the disciples wake them up? Yes, but why did they wake him up? They knew that they could, he could say, yes. correct? Yeah, he, the, so that is faith. So that is faith. So he, he woke up, but he's still lying. And then he says, you can read to yourself when you have Yeah, he's, he calls them, why are you afraid, oh you of little faith? Because they had faith, I always wondered, because they had faith, uh, they are asking him to. They are waking up and asking him to do something. Correct, no? Yes. 
Because if he wakes up, if they know that he is God, he can do it. But he is calling them, oh you have to be faith. Then he gets up, he rebukes the wind and the wind and the great calm. Why did he do that? He did that because he said, can't you allow me to sleep once in a while? In my name, can't you speak to the wings and the wings yourself? Praise the Lord. So he speaks. So we, but, but we need to listen. We need to listen. And then there is clarity in our speech as well. Yeah? So, and, and, you know, we, we, we need to... And he was always compassionate, you know. The, the, he saw people and said, he was moved with compassion. Yes, he was moved with compassion. Yeah, understand, understand God. You know, he, he knew that the other people, when people were suffering, people were in need, he opened up. Knew, knowing is something, doing is another. What is compassion? Well, compassion is not a feeling, please. Compassion is not a feeling. Compassion is action on the feeling. Till we act on the feeling, it doesn't become compassion. Praise the Lord. Yeah. So that is. Uh, uh, I'm just running. Being aware. Yeah. Possess essential quality of self-awareness. Jesus knew, and he always knew. He knew that the time is that time had not come. It, this was not his time. So he said, "Go. Do not tell anybody. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone." And I did it. But of course they better did what they like because they, you know when, when you get something like some healing like that, there, there's no going back. Yeah? So he healer. Are we healers? Yes. Are we healers? Yes. 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 I mean if we are not healing people physically, at least by our one smile we can bring healing to our heart. One smile. Yeah. If you have the Spirit of God inside you, if I have the Spirit of God inside me, I should have a, without a smile I am empty. Without a smile, if I can't smile, there is no Spirit of God in me. The Holy Spirit is, first is love, next is joy. Yeah, are we, are we joyful? Can you smile to your neighbor and say, you, you are a joyful person. You are a joyful person. Praise the Lord. a joyful person. Be a good news. Tell somebody you are from the Athens. That will bring healing. You know, I uh, I always believe no? in in uh, Mark chapter 15, uh, 16, 15 onwards, there's a great commission happening, and there he said, All those who believe, all those who believe in me, these signs will follow. What are the signs? They will, they will cast out demons. I'm not going to any of those things. The last one is they will lay hands upon the sick. Yes. Why are sick not getting healed? Yeah. Why are sick not getting healed? Yeah. We, we are holding our hands like that. We are holding it. We are so ashamed if I put my hand upon my brother and pray and nothing happens. Not even prayer. Jesus said, you will lay hands upon him and he will be healed. Praise the Lord. So healings are not happening because we don't lay, we don't lay hands. You ask Father, he will immediately lay hands upon him. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Persuaded. He persuades. You know, we, we, we are persuaded. Yeah, we are persuaded uh, to, to do things. Um, can we persuade people? For example, many many of you are sitting here because someone persuaded you to come. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Persuaded. Visionary. Yeah, because the Lord saw, you know, he prayed uh, one full night. He prayed one full night to select his uh, select his uh, disciples. And he did not know. In spite of so much of prayer, he did not know that one of them will be his betrayed. He knew. He knew. He knew. Yes, that is the, that is why he was praying all through. He says, Father, I know that this guy is going to betray me. Father said, Yes, I know. 
So he said, how am I going to take this guy with me? How am I going to take this guy with me for three years? Yeah, there's so much of conflict inside and you know, we need to pray. We need to pray. So, but visionary, you know, he saw, when everyone saw fire coming out of Saul's mouth, he saw the spirit that is filling. Praise the Lord. He saw the 20,000 kilometers that Paul would travel to give the message, the good news, and go to his death. He saw that. Visionary. He was a visionary. Yes, so when we are doing things, we must apply, when I'm saying this, we must apply this to each one of us. Like Father said, people ask me, what did you gain by my your 15 years of service for the youth? What, what did you do? He said, I learned a lot from them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If that is God's purpose that I should learn from the youth, I learn from the youth simple. Will of God. Yes, praise the Lord. So insightful. Use the knowledge of the past. You know, we have had experience. I'm telling you, you know, in my company, you know, we, uh, our next generation, many are MBAs and, and, and very highly learned. I am only a BCom. Yeah. So <laughs> finally, when they when these MBAs, with, well, they are also with 10 to 15 years of experience, they come for some advice. You know that nothing can replace the experience that you gain by a gray hair. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah. So insightful. Custodian. Value. Values role as a custodian for the future. We are custodians. You know, I, you know, last meeting of the Karnataka service team, we were discussing. He said, "We have finished one and a half, half of our term. We need, we have only the other half to half to make an impact in Karnataka. We are custodians. The Lord has said, she introduced me. You know, we are working with 14 bishops, the 13 actually, because one is doubling up." But as uh, 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 you know, second second is also yeah. So what I'm trying to say is, we are working with all of them. This is this is the chance that we have to make an impact. Custodian, yeah. We have a great responsibility there. Commitment, yeah. And a great leader is seen as a servant first. Without being a servant, we cannot show any commitment. Yeah. All right. Exactly, you know. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Builds communities. Yeah. The, the most important comes last. If we are unable to build a community, if we are not able to work in our parishes, you know, I, my parish has a lot of problems. Yeah. When I was there, I would not, you know, I would not involve. I would not involve in my term. I was to, we are allowed only two years. Maximum three years. I was there for twelve years in the in the parish council, and then I told the new parish priest, my father, ah, please don't put me there. It's high time you throw me out if I'm there. <laughs> and finally he agreed, and uh, then uh, now I am out of that. I recently the the parish council, um, uh, you know, one of the heads came and told me. <coughs> Uh, can you be a spiritual advisor to this group? I said, what spiritual advisor? The parish priest is there. Mm -hmm. But we need, you know, somebody has to douse the fire, correct? No? Yeah, can we douse the fire there? We are all people who are expected to be. Hello? Make it yeah, <laughs> yes, praise the Lord. Yes, Jesus, role model, quickly. Yeah, so he, uh, I mean, these are some of the, you know, very, I am sure Colin covered much of this already, but uh, I am just putting this, um, John 13, you know, if, if then your Lord and teacher, it's not ordinary, your Lord and teacher, you have learned everything from him, is what, what Jesus is telling his disciples, <coughs> everything that you have learned is from me, and I am your Lord, yeah. So, uh, wash your feet. If he you washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. 
I have given you an example, so you should also do as I have done. Whatever, see, we are, are we disciples of Christ? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, we are followers of Jesus, not just followers, we are disciples. Who is the disciples? So who is the disciple? John, John 8, 31, 32 also, Father quoted, uh, if you abide in my commandments, if you stand on my commandments, then you are my disciples. And then you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. So, if you need freedom, if we have, are we really free? Yes. Yeah? If we are free, if we are truly free, then we know the truth. Our freedom is coming from the truth that we know. Praise the Lord. Yeah? To know the truth, we have to be a disciple. To know the disciple, we have to stand on the word. Standing, what is standing on the word? Standing on the word is learning the word, studying the word, meditating. That is what he told Joshua, no? This word shall not leave your mouth. But meditate on it day and night. When we meditate on the word of God day and night, then we will be able to obey it. And then you will become prosperous. Praise the Lord. So healing and prosperity and everything comes when we start studying the word and we are asking the Lord, let, Lord, let your word take flesh in me. Praise the Lord. Yeah. So, truly, truly, I say to you, servant is not greater than the master. You know <coughs> these things. If you know that, that some of the sort of wonderful uh, verses, you know these things. Blessed are you. Blessed are you. Where is the blessing coming from? In doing. Blessed are you only if we do it. We can study the word by heart. We can do a lot of things. We can quote from the Bible like this. But till we do it, there is no blessing. Praise the Lord. That is why we are sitting here. You know, formation, leadership. Yeah? To understand what leadership is, the formation. Yeah. He says, he who ate my bread, he sat with me, walked with me. I know that he will lift his heel against me. Learn from me. There will be people with you, but you still love him more than the others. Praise the Lord. That's what, what, what he wants to say. So role model one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes, two, servant leader. He always was. Did he ever, apart from apart from the sermon on the mount, did he ever call people to him, or did he go to people who are ready? He always went. He found them. We can't sit at home and expect people to give a call. If you find someone who is today, today we have a client. I mean, a client who is investing 12 crores in one, 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 one project. He is investing 12 crores. And he has given uh, much of it. And he clicked, client came, and he is sitting with my, my vice president. I just happened to pass through and I peeped in and uh, I saw him, I went inside. This man's story is, one and a half years, 15 years we have been doing well. One and a half years back my business started you know, shaking. And my wife and husband and wife are there in business together. And she says, he says, today I don't have the money. I don't have the money. And my wife has gone into a depression. She doesn't go out, she doesn't meet people, she doesn't talk to anybody. And you, whenever you start talking to her, she will cry. So I asked her, he, she, the, the couple is very close to my wife because he's the one who's uh, so he said, I am going to meet her. So I said, when you fix up a, a time, take me along. And this man started crying. This man, the millionaire, started crying. Can we go out and touch somebody's life? Praise the Lord. Yeah. So, for son of man did not come to be served, but to serve. He found, he knew that this leper in John chapter, uh, Matthew, Matthew chapter 8 would come. He knew. Can a leper come into a crowd? No. If he comes to a crowd, what happens? Stone. Stone. Yes. So now he comes. Look at the, look, look at the, the, the 
you know, what did the leper put into his plea? His own life. He put everything into into into. Uh, he put everything on the line. Yeah, and he comes and he kneels before and says, "He is the one first one who calls him Lord." He says, "Lord, if you will, you can heal me." And the Lord is always willing. And the Lord stretched his hand, touched him, and said, "And said, I will be healed. Done. Job is done. Praise the Lord. He came to serve, not to be served." Humility, yeah. It's, you know, working with people in a team calls for humility. Yeah. Uh, Philippians two, three and four. Uh, two onwards is uh, my our our. I have a small family. We are about forty of us. Forty, forty, forty of us. We come in prayer for evening prayers together, and. Uh, Uh, every day, every day, online from around the world, and uh, this is one prayer that we have not missed uh, even a day. This is uh, uh, we call it family prayer for unity. Philippians chapter two, two, two to four. It goes like this. The part of it is here. Fulfill my joy. The Spirit of God speaking through Saint Paul is saying, "Fulfill my joy by being like-minded." So, what does the, the Spirit want us to be like-minded? Wherever, whatever group you are. Yeah, you are in like-minded. Yeah, having the same love. Can in a group. I mean, there are some uh, my friends from Bread uh, uh, of Life. The eight of you know. Uh, can you be of like-minded? You know, being oneness of mind is very important. Yeah, of like-mind. Why I'm saying is because you know, uh, once a man told me, "Look, brother, uh, I have a problem." Uh, his son is uh, in the U.S. and uh, uh, <coughs> business, and they can any time come back. So he says, "My son is in the U.S. I want him to come here. I want him to be here because if th this is better than that," is what he says. But his mother wants him to be there. Praise the Lord. So he is praying that he comes back. Mother is praying that he stays there. Whose prayer is answered? He says, "I said, do this. Being like, like-minded, you can you hold your hands and pray together for one intention in the same, same manner, the same intention. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Then the Lord will answer because what two or where two or three are gathered, you know, uh, that is when one accord cannot happen. If, if I myself pray, I I I am in two minds. So Saint Paul says." <laughs> Nothing will happen to people with a double mind. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yeah. So fulfill my joy by being like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord of one mind. Let nothing be done through a selfish ambition or a cheap desire to boast. We have that a little yeast of that is inside us to boast. But be humble towards one another, always considering others better than yourself. Can we consider others better than ourselves? Yes. Yes. Seriously? Yes. Please confess tomorrow. <laughs> <coughs> Not easy. Can we consider others? You know, if someone ten years junior to me in the Lord, can I can we consider him superior to me? The Lord is saying that. Consider others better than yourself. Look not for your own interest but for the others. So we want the others to grow. That's why Saint uh, um, John the Baptist said, "May I decrease, may He increase." Praise the Lord. So our job is to act wherever we go, make our people grow. That's what Colin did. You know, sending sending me for a for a for a growth retreat. I asked him, "Why on earth are you doing?" So later I asked him, uh, many years. He said, "I don't even remember that." So it doesn't matter. God remember. Praise the Lord. Yeah. So humility. Number three. Like minded is very very important. Yeah. If you can't, you know, our our groups, our evangelization has come to a standstill almost because we are not able to agree. We are fighting with each other. That's that's what is happening with us. Yeah. 
there is so, there are so many groups obedience jesus said to them my food is to do the will of the king yeah my food is to be of him the total obedience obedience to god obedience to authority do we know the way to be a authority yeah we all know that yeah if you don't know you must read uh, romans chapter 13 1 to 7 <laughs> and you will know what what god says about he says if you defy authority all authority is from heaven god has appointed our prime minister that is from here yeah so if if we speak ill about him god says you are speaking ill about me but whenever you think he may not be doing everything right but whenever we feel that we have to pray a blessing on him praise the lord and he'll change because good christians are accusing him and saying he is a devil he is what about this that and the other that is why he is like that i mean he is behaving like that he is a good guy he is <laughs> this is being a god that we stop that <laughs> jesus are role model number 5 empowering empowerment yeah and when jesus finished these sayings the crowds were astonished at this his teaching for he taught them as one who had authority and not as their scribes praise the lord yeah, not as their scribes one who had with one who had authority that's what he was teaching yeah. how why did jesus have authority why was jesus teaching different because he said i am saying to you only what the father has spoken to me so he has heard it directly from the father scribe said learn from the book praise the lord so it's very important for us to have that authority uh, to to be listening to what the lord has to speak to us praise the lord that will have power so uh, luke 10:19 so he says you no know, everything that he has he has given to us everything that he has he has given to us he says i have given you authority for what or to trample upon snakes and scorpions and all the power of the enemy and then he said children will not believe that he will be scared of the devil he said nothing will harm you nothing will harm you why you worry yeah so he he gives uh, his and Uh, as leaders as a leader of a prayer group as a leader of our families are we empowering or strengthening our people or are we projecting ourselves as permanent leaders praise the lord yeah if we are projecting ourselves as permanent leaders we are not leaders at all we have to make everyone grow you know i i have not i have not seen uh, uh, I came in after Fritz left. Fritz was the and uh, father masculine as well. Rebel, rebel, father rebel. Fritz, yeah, father rebel and Fritz started this group and for years it was being led and then uh, when he left, uh, Colin became the leader. I came in when God. You, you know, in Bangalore, in, in the English groups, uh, most leaders as of now have come from Bangalore because we make people grow. If we are not making people grow, I mean, what we learn only we can teach others, no? See, how can we love people? How can we teach people to love? This fruit of the Holy Spirit is love, joy, peace. Can you be joyful? Can you tell your neighbor, rejoice in the Lord? I I will do to that. So if you see, I mean, these are good things, you know. Gospel is all about good news. Good news. Like right? Father said, <laughs> is that good news or bad news? <laughs> bad news is also good news for us. Yeah, that's what he said. Right? Incredible. I mean, thoughts are incredible. Yeah. So I I have given authority. All authority has been passed on to us. 
Are we blessed? Yes. yes. How many blessings do we have? How many spiritual gifts do we have? Okay, but in, in, in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3, the word says, Blessed be God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with every, can you say every? that from people have to see in us and I mean we are not, none of us are perfect none of us are perfect yeah every day we learn yeah I was telling one group the other day you know we had a retreat and Father Augustine was in a very close small group Father Augustine was preaching and he said uh, look uh, apart from God in marriage he was speaking about marriage whatever one does in life you must keep your spouse in the center of your life and do everything around that. I never did that for 37 years. Three months back I started doing it. You learn. Every day you learn something incredible. Yeah, but I easily totally failed in that area. Because she's wrong. <laughs> Always she's wrong. He is wrong, no? Huh? Oh, no. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise. The wife will say, a good Christian wife will say, because the Lord has asked me to obey him, he is wrong, I know, but I will obey him. Praise the Lord. Uh, yeah. Always the other one is wrong. Self serving leader. Yeah. Self serving leader is all about me. There are three people actually, not just me. I, me and myself. Yeah, everything should revolve around me. Yeah, I must get the best seat. I must get the best seat. Do you know I am the coordinator of Karnataka, Karnataka service team. Wherever I go, when I go for the national uh, conference, they must recognize me because I am the head of Karnataka. Correct, no? Ah, yeah. Correct. So that is a self-serving leader. Yeah? I, me and myself. Praise the Lord. Yes. These are some people who are me. Yeah? Then also the, the Google gave me. Yeah? Some people. <laughs> that is Stalin, our, our friend the Hitler. And uh, I don't remember that man's name. This is Mussolini, this is Mao, and this is our present king's father. King. Yeah, North Korea. North Korea. King. Uh, king. And king. Uh, king, king's father. King. That's another king. king. Yeah. So this is this is father. Yeah. So, so there are I mean, I, I'm saying you ask, the world knows. There is another man called Paul Port in uh Was, uh, in, 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 in Cambodia. Millions. Millions of people before no reason is slaughtered. That's what people are. Yeah? Yes. Praise the Lord. Now quickly. Quickly. Now I'm going to ask you to many times close your eyes and see where you stand here. <coughs> ten. I remember ten minutes. Yeah? Servant leader versus self-serving leader. Now we have to gauge ourselves as to where we stand. In service. In service. Yeah, Ser a, a servant leader always wants to serve. You know, I was in Pune for the uh, for the national conference. Uh, you know, uh, uh, I went there first uh, day uh, early, very early. And I was take my walk to the to the what is it, the Maidan, where the you see, and, and it was uh, sorry. Ground, 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 yeah, yeah, ground, yeah. So it had rained very heavily the previous day and it was all slushy and some 10, 15,000 was there, my Yeah, 5,000, okay, that's my plan. 
So I did not, I, 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 I could not gauge how many were there. So those many people were coming, and they, those many people walking would make it. You know, you know how it can be. So they brought a small jelly, and they are spreading there. The person who is doing his work first is the national coordinator. So someone introducing him said that, look, look, this man is the real chairman. Because he was laying chairs, not only laying chairs, he is wiping them also. Praise God. No, I, I, I really appreciated the guy, you know. So serves other, uh, we, the, the servant leader will serve them and the others will say, I am a chairman. Oh, my team, my team will do this work. Correct, no? Uh -huh, please, Lord. Yes, my team will do this. If we are, if we are leading groups, if we are leading groups, can we, can you close your eyes? Where do you stand in your own group? Where do you stand? If you are in the second list area where you, are, if, if, if you want people, you desire people to serve you or you desire positions, then it's time to move. It's time to move from there to service. God says, when you start service, I mean, God was, God was with Joseph and everything that was entrusted into the hands of Joseph prospered in his hands. Godliness which should come, that is Genesis 39, 3. Yeah. Potiphar, the uh, you know, uh, uh, man of another religion, another faith, he saw that God was with Joseph, a slave, and he entrusted everything into, into Joseph's hands because he saw that things that were entrusted in Joseph's hands prospered in his hands. Praise the Lord. Because God was with him. He saw God working through in Joseph's life. Praise the Lord. So that is what. Now unless we move from here to here, we we are our whole purpose as leadership in leadership is lost. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, I was thinking, I was happy to see that Father was not here. Uh, when we started singing. Uh, because I want to say something. Father, your assistant parish priest, I was sitting next to him in Logos. And uh, I did not ask. I did not ask, but he told me, see, I am so blessed to be his assistant. And so I am not, I, uh, it's not only freedom that I have, I learned a lot from him. I am still learning a lot. That's leadership. You know, there was another parish priest when I uh, uh, met him. Um, uh, he said the first thing that I did, he got an asking parish priest, a new asking parish priest. The previous, uh, uh, no, he had the old parish priest assistant continuing. So he said, so I said, Father, this assistant has changed completely. He would come. The assistant would come unshaven uh, five minutes, seven minutes late from us. Yeah, he said, so what? What if I'm late? It's okay, you sit and pray. People are asking me, no? And that kind of a person, he started, he suddenly became, a, 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 you know, a totally different man, transformed man. And uh, uh, I said, Father, what has happened to him? He said, look, Chari, you know, what I did was, what I do, wherever I go is, I call as a parish priest. Said, you are the parish priest. I will do some of the work. Uh, of course, under supervision. Hallelujah. He gave all Hallelujah. the authority to that guy and that guy has bloomed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is what that is what leadership is. Purpose. Purpose is what is my purpose of being a leader? It is to see what I can give. What can I give? But the other fellow thinks what can I take from this? Can I get name, fame? Can I stand here? You know, how many people I have heard in my 
in my journey with BCCR or something, you know, many people say, oh, that fellow, I stopped going to that group because I, brother, I can preach, brother, I, I, he doesn't ever give me a chance to preach. <laughs> you know, once uh, 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 regarding a group, uh, some people, uh, some people uh, told me, brother, why, why are they not giving you a chance to speak? I said, it's not them who is giving me a chance to speak here. It is the Lord. If the Lord wants, who can stop? Praise the Lord. So why am I worried? Hey, if the Lord calls, I go. If the Lord doesn't call, I'm happy. If the Lord calls, I'm happy. If he doesn't call, I'm happy. Still, praise the Lord. Growth. Ah, growth. People growth. He looks at people's growth. When people grow for a servant leader, Servant leader grows when people grow. Praise the Lord. But the other case, he wants self-growth. Can you close our eyes for a minute? Yeah? What is our purpose? Yeah? He said, what can I give? Are we continually thinking of what I can give? Are we continually thinking of what I can give? Or are we looking at what is my pound of flesh? This is what we are looking at. If it is the second, we must move to the first. And are we looking for the growth of all my companions, all my subordinates? Are we looking for growth? Or am I looking for my own growth, name and fame? Lord, help us to come to the servant leadership side. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, next, uh, people. People are partners for a servant leader. People are partners. No, my my community, my 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 team members are partners. I mean, they are not any. You know, uh, in, the, in the secular world, uh, the chat GPT's the CEO was thrown out. Correct. I, I, <laughs> in 24 hours, he is brought back, and the people who threw them out are out. This is what happens there. This is what happens in the secular world. I want my power. So if, if, if you are not with me, I am going to throw you out. Praise the Lord. But here, partners are clean. They, they, people are my partners, my teammates. Yeah. And for them, just a, a moon to the end. People are products. They are commodities. Yeah. So I want my number in my group. I don't care if you grow or not grow or you are committing a suicide. I, no problem. I want this my group to be 200 people, 500 people. Praise the Lord. Oh, of course. No. See, these guys are sitting there. I don't want to talk too much about them. Lest they be elated. Yeah. So now, Colin, uh, when he was there, no, he, uh, people are doing their own <coughs> things, but he would be their first step. And he would stand at the door and greet every single individual. Every single individual who came to this. He would go to their homes. I, I don't know that. Praise the Lord. Honestly. Yeah. So that is what, what, what the Lord wants. People, treating people the way they should be treated. Needs, needs, team's needs are ahead of my own as a leader. My need is okay, fine, yeah, it's okay. But team needs, team's needs are supreme. But for the other guy, own need is ahead of the teams. I must make my, my pound of flesh first, and then the others can have. Praise the Lord. Can we close our eyes? How, do, we, do we see the people around us as partners? People with us? as partners or are they just commodities? Do we care about them? If, we, if he's a partner, she's a partner, we care about them and make them grow and make them, give them some, some, some love from our hearts and a joy and peace. But do we keep the team before us? Priority is the priority of the team. If it is not, 
we should move. Help us, Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay. Yeah, a team. So, if I have a team, I will motivate. If I have a true leader, servant leader, I will motivate and share my credit. So, you know, here people, will, you know, the, this guy will say, if there is a good thing that is happening, that is mine. Yeah, if there is a good thing that is happening in the group, that's, that's because of me. If anything is bad, that's because of me. Praise the Lord. Yeah, but motivating others. The failures, how do we handle failures? You know, a server leader will own up. You know, people, the failure of the group will own up. Yeah, I take responsibility. I take responsibility and I learn from my mistakes. I learn from my mistakes. Yeah. So uh, these are uh, from the from the failures I learn and I correct and I move forward, owning up responsibility. When I own responsibility, my teammates will see that actually it is I who did it. But he has owned it. For the rest of his life, he is committed to the leader. Yeah, praise the Lord. But our leader, our leader, you know, as a leader, our job is to point to the chief leader. Okay. So owning up learns the whole other responsibility. Yes. Suggestions. You know, suggestions given by, you know, in a, in a core group, for example, suggestions given are uh, you know, encourage a suggestion. I want everyone's suggestions and ideas. Let us do, let us pray about it. Let us do, yeah. It's collective, it's a collective thing. And no one's idea. <coughs> I tell my team in my, in my company, he said, if you're not involving, if you're deciding, the leader is deciding everything and handing it over to them, handing it over to the people, then it is, it is something that is pushed down your throat. Is it? Get a group throw the ideas, they will throw ideas, then we will bring up the list. Whose list is that? It is ours. Yeah. So, encourage suggestion. Yeah. Suggestion are like rejects. Now, I know what to do. Shut up. There are more groups where, I, where, where leaders say, I know. I know. I'll decide. Yeah. No suggestions are required. Praise the Lord. Criticism. Ah, criticism. Do you like being criticized? You know, in the secular world, you know, we run uh, our, our resorts, so we used to get a lot of feedback, we seriously analyze feedback, and sometimes we get so upset with this uh, uh, criticism, and then one lady uh, came from outside as a trainer, and he said, Sharyan, don't do that, don't do that. Complaints are blessings. A Hindu lady is telling me, complaints are blessings. If you don't get complaint, that is because your customer, your guest doesn't care. But if you get a complaint, that means that person will come back again to see <laughs> and see that this is rectified and will be permanent. So today we have amongst the highest repeat guests in the country. Praise the Lord. Yes, yeah. So takes offense. Yeah. So can we close our eyes for one moment? What is our team? What do we do with our team? Do we motivate them and share credit with them or hold others responsible? Failures. How do we face failures? Do we lie down? Failure, it's said, is a stepping stone to success. We have to get up. Jesus fell three times. And he got up because he knew that he had a mission to the cross. So he got up and he walked. Owning up a failure. Encouraging suggestions. Takes criticism as a blessing for correction. Not we offer our hearts and our minds to you, our souls to you. Make us a leader like you. Sweet Spirit of God. <coughs> the word says, love of Christ compels me, propels me. 
let the love of Jesus fill our hearts. So it's been about taught us to do the right things the right way. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise we Lord. have three more minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. So if you have any questions, you can ask. You sure five minutes, yeah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yeah, mind is showing you a few minutes. If you have any questions on this, you must ask. Yeah. Ah, yes. World looks, that's why I couldn't get that as worldly. The worldly and spiritual. The service can only, this kind of leadership can be only with a spiritual heart. So, world looks at it totally differently, and, and you know, that is not uh, being in the world. That's why he said they are in the world. They are in the world, they live in that world, but not of the world. That's how we, we you know, once a, uh, uh, a couple, a Muslim couple came to uh, my office and they had finished their, uh, they wanted more discounts and it was a difficult time, a little slowdown was happening and uh, then she came by, we gave them coffee, you know, all those nice talks and all that. I have a tape of Bible on the table and there is a picture also hung there. And we were having a chat, and uh, then he said, look, we are checking in tomorrow, we want more discount. So, if you, I said, uh, uh, you know, in our, our principles do not allow us, so we have already given him the maximum discount we can give. So he said, yeah, the room will go, go, go vacant. I said, it doesn't matter. No problem. But if you, if you, I assure you, if you come, you will have an amazing time with us. And the lady sat there and said, I know why he's saying that, because of him. He is pointing at the Bible and saying, because of him. I got the biggest surprise of my life a Muslim is pointing at the Bible and saying that. Yeah? So the world looks at things differently, we look at it differently. Praise the Lord. We are never defeated, huh? Can I do? No, we, no as, uh, as Christians, as Christians, if we are not positive, I'm closing with this, if we are not positive, if we can't think of whatever situation that we have in our life, whatever situation that we have in our life, that is a, that's an opportunity for us to apply faith, conquer it, and get a promotion. Praise the Lord. We can conquer it. If the Lord said, I, I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me, is there anything that we can't do? He says you can do, and we says I can't. We, we say I can't. We are already used to contradicting the word. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Once again, apply faith, conquer it, and get a promotion. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you all. An amazing uh, growth program. Thank you.